when you think about cars with gimmicks, lots of technology, but reliability is a myth, then fear not, introducing Chinese cars. This year motor show in my country, a shit ton of Chinese cars flooded the state. So I decided to check them out. You have BYD or BIT or b b b b Build Your Dream. Somehow they turned Honda Power of Dream slogan into a f***ing brand. Huh? Anyway, the BYD, they are not normal car by any means. They are electric. Their whole lineup are electric. So to avoid making boring electric car, they unboring their car by putting a ton of gimmick quirk and features. Most of them are unnecessary though. Just look at this door handle. I don't know what to call this but uh, it is cool to be honest. So I get inside the first car. The pink thing called Dolphin. You can see how unique the interior is. But does it function? I don't know. But it does it look cool? You can show this to your friend and say, My car is cool because it has a feature that serve no purpose whatsoever. So, what is that weird feature? I sat on every BYD car on the stage and oh my god, literally all of them have the iPad that can rotate itself like for real. Imagine driving on the road like this and the screen just rotating. It is a very, very cool feature, but is it necessary? Absolutely not. You literally have to adjust the climate using the touch screen. I want the traditional knob which is safer and easier to use rather than using the whole iPad thing to adjust the air conditioner. You think it's a unique gimmick until you realize that BYD put this feature on every single model of their cars. How unique is that? So I sat on other Chinese made car and somehow they all have the huge f***ing touchscreen as their unique feature or the selling point and they dirt cheap too. Just look at this one or this MBV or this one or maybe this one. Anyway, let me close the door. This huge SUV is cool though. You see literally we have LX600 at home. It feels so nice to sit inside. With an excellent looking interior and exterior, it really gave me that luxury feels. The power output, acceleration are good, and somehow they don't allow to test ride this car. So I'm quite disappointed. Anyway, MG, the British brand with products that scream is one of the very rare Chinese made cars that still come with internal combustion engine and yet their coolest looking car is electric. Their lineup contains crossover, a lot of crossover. So you ask me if MG's car are still cool just like their bus. It's nine. Now they're generic as fuck. The world has so many crossover on the road right now. Why do we need more? Anyway, that is the summary of me checking on Chinese car. If you want a car that has lots of weird features that are cool but unnecessary and you don't care much about reliability, then Chinese car is for you. I hope that my social friends doesn't decrease too much after posting this video. See you guys later.